There's two questions that I get asked all the time. The first is, how do I make money while traveling abroad? And the second is, how much money do I make on YouTube? So today, we're gonna answer those questions. Guys, I am finally back in Bali after about an entire month of traveling in Java. Feels so good to be back here. Just moved into this Airbnb yesterday and overall the place is beautiful. I'm gonna show you around real quick, but the only downside is that there's a very busy uh, road in front of us. So this is an Airbnb apartment in Barawa, which is roughly about five, 10 minutes away from Changu. This is actually my favorite area to live in. So if you guys are coming to Bali, definitely look to stay in the Barawa area. But I booked it on Airbnb, which is something I don't typically do because it is more expensive to book on Airbnb. This place specifically, it costs me $28 a night, which is actually really affordable. Um, but for a week long stay, it, it came out to $220 and for roughly about $360, you can get a place for an entire month in Bali. Now, when you enter, you do have a kitchen area. It's like a kitchenette. Um, it's not a full kitchen, but you do have a gas burner as well as a sink. Um, they have all the utensils provided for you as well as uh, plates down here and cups and mugs and pans. Right across from the kitchen area, we do have a seating area, small table here. It's really beautiful, really good lighting here. Directly on the other side of the sitting area, you do have a queen size bed with a nightstand on one side, nightstand on the other side. Really love the design here and these hanging lights on each side of the nightstand, really cool. We do have a, a large flat screen TV, it's like a 50 inch. And then this beautiful wooden door, which it's kind of hard to open actually, but this is the bathroom. Got towels here, very similar design to how it is in the living room, the bedroom, your, your toilet, and um, a walk-in shower. This place is like, I wanna say 35 square meters for those of you wondering how big it is, but overall, I can't complain. I really like the space. Um, they have plugs everywhere and uh, internet's really good. It's like 20, 30 download and upload. Yeah, the only downside is that there's just a really busy street. <sighs> Stuff's amazing. If you guys come to Indonesia, try this stuff. It's like flavored water, but with different kinds of fruits. So typically you guys see me sharing all of my expenses while traveling, but today I'm going to share how much money I make and how I do it. So at the time that you're watching this video, my channel currently has 68,000 subscribers and I would consider myself a full-time YouTuber, but roughly about nine months ago, that wasn't the case. You see, last September, I had left the United States to pursue full-time travel just on my savings alone. And I had saved at the time roughly about $13,000 and that was going to be my budget for the next year pretty much. But just three months into my full-time travel, my channel started taking off and I was finally able to monetize my first video. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is to maybe open your eyes to the possibilities of what it's like to travel the world and doing it in a way where you can actually make money from it. Now, there's three ways that a YouTuber makes money. The first of which is through sponsored videos and brand deals. The second is affiliate links, and the third is going to be through YouTube AdSense. But before YouTube paid me a single dollar, I had to get a part-time job in order to fund all the equipment costs and all the traveling that you saw on this channel. And one of those jobs was English teaching. You see, in 2019, I had moved to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam to become an English teacher. So I spent one full year teaching students in classrooms, as well as on my computer teaching students in China. Now you see, as an English teacher, I was able to work remotely, travel the world, and create new content for my channel. But it also came with some challenges because I needed a college degree, I needed a teaching certificate, I needed to always lesson plan, and I had to be committed to a long-term contract. But you don't have to face these challenges because last month, Cambly reached out to me with a solution. Cambly is an online teaching platform with students from all around the world. With Cambly, you don't need experience, you don't need a teaching degree, you don't need a college degree. All you need is a strong Wi-Fi connection and just some time because they don't have minimum hours. And the best part, of course, is that you get paid weekly, not monthly like I did, so. There's that. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in signing up with Cambly, don't forget to mention my name so that you get priority consideration on your application. Now, that's a sponsored video. So that's one of the ways that YouTubers make money uh, traveling full time and making their content. 
The second of which is through affiliate links. You see, a lot of YouTubers have these special little links at the bottom of their description, and anytime you click that link and you make a purchase, the creator gets a small kickback, whether that's 5%, 10%, or 15%, whatever it may be. But that's really not the main source of income for YouTubers. You see, the main source is really through YouTube AdSense. And so whenever you guys watch a YouTube video and you guys see an ad, that creator is making a little bit of money from that ad. And so really, I've been monetized since December of 2020, and how much have I really made is what you're wondering probably. So before we check out to see how much money I'm making monthly, I wanted to break down the top three videos that I've put out so far that have made me the most money. And number three on that list is my Jakarta transportation video that I put out back in March. That was a really difficult video to edit and put together actually. And since March 10th, that video has generated 444,000 views in almost three months and the revenue for that one video was $342. So let me know in the comments if that's what you expected from a video that generated 444,000 views. Now, number two on the list is going to be my very most viewed video, and that is my uh, trying Indonesian food in Jakarta for 10 US dollars. And that video generated $594. And so you're wondering, if my most viewed video didn't make me the most money, what video did? And I think this one might shock you. Comment down below, let me know. Just take a pause real quick. Comment down and let me know which video you think made me the most money. The video that generated me the most money was actually the cost of living in Bali in 2021. You see, that video only generated 316,000 views. Compared to my Jakarta food video that generated almost 800,000 views, the cost of living video in Bali actually made me almost $1,300 just from that one video, even though it did half as well in views. And so now I wanted to take the time to compare my very first month of making money on YouTube compared to what I'm currently making now in May, or it's now June 2021. Um, so let's look at December 20th through January 20th. That was my very first month of monetization on YouTube. And just from the first month alone, I made $503.08, which is actually really good. You see, I, I budget roughly about $1,000 a month for living costs. And that pretty much just cut my cost of living in half just by making YouTube videos. So roughly from day one, I was making about $9, $10 a day, uh, which is absolutely great. And then you see a few spikes up to $20, then back to $10 a day and back up to $20. And then my best day was on January the 16th. I'd made $25 that day just from YouTube alone. And so now what, what am I making compared to my very first month of YouTube? So now six months later, May 1st through June 1st. So just for that one month in May, I made $1,644. At the very first of the month, I'm making almost five times as much as I did when I first monetized my videos. So now roughly I'm making about $50, $40. I had a high right there at $69 a day. And then it just goes back up and down between 30, 40, 50 dollars. And then when I upload a video, it seems that it jumps up to almost 100 dollars in one day. And so that's how much I'm making on average per month now on YouTube, roughly putting out about six videos, to eight videos a month. And that income is gonna range differently based off how many videos I'm uploading per month and how well those videos are performing. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Did you expect me to be making more money or did you be expecting me to make less money than that? And I really wanna emphasize this again, guys. This video is by no way or any means of showing off just how much money I make. I'm an open book. I share all of my expenses with you guys in every video. And I also wanted to share my income, what it's been like as a full-time YouTuber just in the first year alone. So I just wanted to open your mind to see what is possible as, a, as somebody that's traveling the world making money through YouTube uh, because hopefully it may inspire some of you to do the same thing. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, please give this video a like, it really helps the channel. And if you're not subscribed guys, make sure you subscribe. I'm putting out videos every single week for you. And don't forget to comment below guys. I'm really curious what you guys think about this one. So I'm gonna be here in Bali now for the next couple of weeks probably. 
planning my next few travels around the world. And for those of you that are members on the channel, you will get a sneak peek as to where we are heading next. So thank you so much guys for watching today's video and I will see you guys next week. Peace.